talking about how the existing laws here as well as in India operate. There is many laws in the UK. The one, the prominent law is uh, Modern Celebrity Act 2015. How our laws can be actually amended, you know, create a public opinion to combat human trafficking. We came here to London under the support of the British High Commission to scale the impulse model globally. The impulse model is based on the 12 pillars of 6 P's and 6 R's report, rescue, rehabilitation, repatriation, reintegration and recompensation. The six P's is partnership, prevention, protection, policing, press and prosecution for a holistic intervention on addressing human trafficking. Because you see the police has to use it, the judiciary requires this. Our main focus was uh, to train the enforcement team about the law. And we were able to take in a large uh, delegation of very senior police officers and law enforcement people. We always try to you know, see the stories where a local person has been trafficked and how they need to be rehabilitated. And uh, look at cases and see how we could bring them from the point of, of detection to prevention and to actual rehabilitation. Stakeholders, they come into the system, they register to the system and they can enter cases. My job here uh, in the UK today is to find solutions for upgradations. We are meeting different organizations and we are trying to uh, get feedback, get inputs from these organizations. Uh, having a platform to be able to collate data that spans um, big distances um, is important. This will help identify trends, where the key hotspots are, and then help inform, obviously, um, effective action in the long term. Coming with this impulse team is to understand the good practices, to learn from the enforcement team. There is many laws in the UK. The prominent law is uh, Modern Celebrity Act 2015, Human Trafficking and Exploitation uh, Scotland Act, Human, Human Trafficking Ireland, Act 2015. We are taking away a lot of things that we need to need to be able to inculcate and imbibe in our systems. Well, we've been out there in the field for a long time. It's been almost two decades that the Pulse and Geo Network has been functioning. But to be able to see what's going on in the world, to adopt best practices, to try and evolve a common platform with stakeholders and people who are, who are working in this space, that was very important and I think uh, this was a really good start. We have created uh, a small news agency in Myanmar okay. six months before the, the, the elections to okay. give independent news and okay. unbiased news mm -hmm. to all media in Myanmar. So it has been such a success that we financed it to start, mm -hmm. but now we have found funders to go on. It is very, very important that we have various institutions across the globe joining hand. I received the Ashoka Fellowship in 2006 to, scale, to actually take on the process of developing the model more holistically. Immediately when I started hearing about um, uh, Impulse Network's uh, work, uh, I thought about some of our um, Ashoka Fellows here in the UK and also internationally who work in related areas where I feel like their experiences, even though it might not be the same kind of uh, sector, um, could be relevant for the Impulse Network. We've seen incredible collaborations coming out of that, new projects, new ventures. There's never a hesitation to connect them because we know that in one way or another they will benefit uh, from the connection and so I'm uh, really pleased to uh, hear that they're interested in meeting some of our Ashoka UK Fellows. We have created new partners in the UK and different stakeholders in the fields of slavery, ending uh, trafficking, ending uh, persecution, ending exploitation and helping people live in dignity. Mm -hmm.